Welcome back to the ESA Design 4.15 tutorial. And in this lesson video, we're going to show you the brand new fitness floor configuration options from Pavi Gym, the world leader in fitness flooring. And they are now part of ESA Design. And this is a really nice feature when creating a fitness facility. I'm going to draw a room, just a basic structure like this. We see the standard wood floor, but I'm going to click inside that room and then I'm going to select floor material and fitness flooring from Pavi Gym. And then we see all their different categories for the different areas of the facility. And let's do fitness, equipment and fitness. It will show me the options that I have, but also on the bottom here, a description floor information about that fitness category. So very detailed information about that particular floor category. Let's pick ash gray and click use. Then it will actually add not just the floor, but each individual tile. So it's really nice. And as it is with fitness flooring, you start placing the first tiles along the longest wall as a standard. But if you want, you can rotate the floor or pan the floor. Click on pan and hold down the left mouse button and drag the floor wherever you want it to start. So it's really nice. Okay, now this is a plain floor. We can go into 3D and see what it looks like right here. Very good. But we want to make some customizations here. So what we can do is, first of all, you can mark each individual tile just by clicking on it. Or you can hold down the left mouse button and drag to create a bigger section. I can hold down the shift button and just drag and paint, basically. You need to hold down the left mouse button and the shift button on your keyboard when you do this. But I'm going to start off with just selecting a single tile right in the middle there. And then I'm going to go to change selected tile. Now we're going to start customizing. And it will display the different options that I have that I can combine that ash gray fitness floor with. So let's pick fitness. It shows me the mark current one. But let's pick bamboo and use. It's still green because it's active, so we need to click on the outside. And you see we placed a bamboo tile in the middle there. And we'll go into 3D to see what it looks like. And you even see the tile structure there. So it's really, really cool. Okay, that was just one tile. Let's say I want to create a line here of bamboo. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag straight down. All ones here are now marked. Change selected tile. Let's do bamboo. Click on the outside. Go into 3D. And you see that we now have a line of bamboo. If I wanted to, uh, I can make an instant change. Let's say I don't want to have that ash gray floor. If I click on just one tile and then it will display here change selected tile type. It's different from changing selected tile. Changing selected tile would just change that individual tile. But I want to change all of them of the same material here and I clicked on the ash gray one. So let's click on change selected tile type. And let's do a darker one. Let's do fitness and graphite gray and use. Instantly, it changes all of them, of the, that ash gray to the darker gray. And in 3D, of course, we see it as well. All right. Now let's make some more uh, changes here, adjustments. Hold down left mouse button. Drag down a lasso, mark two rows, change selected tiles, because now I just want to change those. And let's do beech wood. Let's mark another row. 
change like the tile fitness bamboo go into 3d we have different variations here how good does that not look awesome all right if you want you can hold down the shift button and mark several in any direction so I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my uh, keyboard and then hold down the left mouse button and drag and you see over here it go looks like it goes over to into outside the room but it just to show you that one extra tile here is needed and it will be cut later on when we select the tile change selected tile actually we'll do these ones as well change selected tile and let's do bamboo use perfect let's do one more row here just drag down change selected tile fitness and bamboo all right perfect go into 3d and we see what we've done so far close it up all right uh, we'll do some more let's add drag down do a lasso then hold down the shift key drag down and make a lasso go over here hold down shift key drag down make a lasso and then change selected tile type fitness and let's do a different color here let's do lime green perfect In 3d we made some more changes so you can make any customizations here I'll show you something else top view or any view but I'm, I'm gonna select top view here I can make tile customization in 3d as well so you activate floor and then when moving over you see each individual individual tile will light up when I move over them so if I want to change just to row here of green let's just paint it hold down the left mouse and paint if you want to remove one hold down the shift key and click and click back again so I can click and remove several by holding down the shift key or bringing them back again so now they're all activated again change select the tile type let's do lime green for all of them perfect I can of course start adding equipment if I want to and we can do it from side view here add assortments let's do some cardio just drag out into my layout that was just to show you that you can add equipment just drag out and place and if we close it remembers my my selections here all right if I want to change all of them at once make a lasso change selected tiles to bamboo perfect here you can also use custom objects to create shapes for the fitness floor as well so for instance custom floor left mouse click any shape that you want to create just add more clicks to add more nodes click on the floor then click on floor material from the floor material menu select pavi gym fitness equipment fitness and let's do beach wood click use there you go and you can of course line it up if you want in 3d we've added it on top very good we'll close that and delete it then we we'll go down to floor shapes and here you can add floor shapes like this and just adjust it the way you want it select floor material fitness flooring pavi gym again let's do beach wood again we have a section here the difference is instead of using tiling is that you don't get the tile structure because this is a cutout floor into the other one so it's cut into it so you see the difference here 
tile, no tile. We'll delete that, and now we come to floor shapes. Uh, another floor shape. We'll drag out this one, which has rounded corners to it, and we can make it bigger. Select floor material, fitness flooring, stone gray, perfect. And if I want, I can drag out another one on top of it, make like a frame to it. Floor material. Ash gray, like that. Now you have a nice pattern uh, shape to it. And of course, if you want, you can go into your library, add equipment, and place it into the layout. Maybe customize the color to platinum frame in this case, just like that. Now, what you can do you can combine them together like this. So for instance, here we have two. Maybe I want one over here. And it's going to say, do you want to combine those two shapes? If I say yes, it will be one object. And we can select the material. Let's do red. And here we go. And you can combine all of the shapes together. Or if you don't want to, you can place one like this. Let's place it right here. And say, no, I don't want to combine it. And select the material. And then it actually is placed on top of it, like that. Every time you combine floor on top of each other like this, Easy Design detects that. So it will not calculate wrong because, yes, it will calculate the floor. Whenever you're ready, you can go up to the Create Presentation option and you could fill out the information. We're going to skip that for now. And I'm going to decide that I want to show Pavi Gym specification on my, my presentation and click Create. We see the floor options that we just did. And on this page right here, room one, we only have one room. It will display all the different floor options that we had and it will calculate correctly. So if it's square meter floor, it will show that. If it's tiled flooring, it will calculate the tile and it will calculate correctly. So if you placed like we did, combine shapes and such, it will still uh, calculate correct. With the Pavi Gym features you also get access to their functional symbols and those you will find in the object tab. And then you scroll down to the Pavi Gym library and here you have the different categories and you can go into a category and select for instance here the functional zone and it will list the different thumbnails of functional symbols. And then you simply hold down left mouse button and drag it out and place it where you want it to be. And uh, let's add this one right here. We'll add some more symbols over here. Let's add this one right here. And what's really nice is that you can click on the symbol, click on object viewer, and then you can see the symbol and you can click on the parts and select material and change to a different material on that symbol so you can customize the look of it select a different material for this one white marble use and when you're ready you click done and it will have customized that symbol right here you have the symbols in the floor and it's easy to add more, of course. You just go down the list or change to a different category and you select the ones that you want. So if you want a spring track, we can add that right here. And if you want it, you can customize the materials on it as well, even down to the digits. So if you want a different color on the numbers, maybe do uh, beech wood, change the lines. 
let's do white and use and done when you're ready and those are also in place right there